What's up everyone, Justin with JT Apple here and today I'm here to do a demonstration of the loop for the iPod Touch 5th generation. So Apple did introduce a loop for the new iPod Touch 5G and to be honest, in my opinion, I don't really know why Apple even did this. It's something that you'd probably just buy a case if you wanted a lanyard or a wrist strap, but I don't really understand why Apple had to install it into the iPod Touch. I know for some people this may be useful, but I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate how this works and what the loop is. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here. Here you can see it's the actual wrist strap itself. It comes in the color you purchased your iPod Touch in. I'm sure they will have these for sale separately, probably for a price that isn't really worth it. But in terms of the quality, people are saying this is kind of leather-like material. The point of view I put it at is it's kind of like an elastic band. It seems pretty cheap, um, not really a good quality wrist strap, something that I wouldn't want to carry around and use all day. But still go ahead and show you guys how this works. So. If you guys know what a lanyard is, I'm pretty sure most of you will. You pretty much just slide it on and you tighten it up with this piece, which I have to say is kind of hard to tighten. So right off the bat, it kind of does defeat the purpose if it's kind of hard to tighten. So bad part on Apple for that, um, apart from the fact that they even included the loop in the iPod Touch. So. I can get it on there really easily. Usually when you want to use a um, wrist strap, you want something that's easy to take on and off, but at the same time can offer you some security. But I'm just going to go and show you guys how to put this on. So on the bottom, there's like this little silver button. Straightforward. You just press it up. This thing pops up. You will see. On the end, you will see this little um, piece. I'm just going to go ahead and strap it on for you guys. Just go like this. And there you've got it. I have to say it is just pretty secure. Um, I think it works and some of you will be using this but like I said I think it's pretty useless. So from first impressions a lot of people have just been taking this as a joke kind of. If you saw John Ford Lakers video in the beginning of the video he's just messing around with this swinging it around everywhere. This is my sister's iPod so I think she'd prefer if I didn't damage it from doing that. So this is just showing you guys a loop here. I can't understand why Apple d d did this um, because the iPod Touch is very, very thin and I can see how it's very easy to drop, but it didn't see it to a point where they actually had to include a lanyard on the back of this. I've never seen a product with something like this on. But this is just a quick demonstration on how the loop works. Let me know your thoughts on it. It definitely does open the window for many accessory developers. That's a plus that de developers may decide where to take this, such as a neck strap, whatever. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this. This is just a quick video demonstrating the new loop on the iPod Touch 5th generation. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.